If Darwinian evolution is true, then our biochemistry, our genetics, our anatomy, our psychology, our sociology, including the phenomena of religion, should be explainable in terms of survival and reproduction, in terms of fitness. Yet when we look at the world around us and we see religion is everywhere, the worship of God is everywhere, yet this is not something which fits the Darwinian paradigm. Think of this mosque behind you. This is just one of the many mosques that we have across the world. This is the Shah Faisal Mosque, one of the largest mosques in the world. Now, think of the engineer, think of the architects, think of the builders, think of the worshippers, think of the money and the fundraisers and all of the um, hours and hours and hours of man work that went into constructing and worshipping at this institute. Now, couldn't those hours be used in a way to help those people survive and reproduce. I mean, it's an every single act of ours is an opportunity cost. You could be doing something else. So from a Darwinian paradigm, the worship of God doesn't actually make sense. Because if you think about it, I, I think um, another example is if you are, say, running across this field and you're being chased by a bear, and instead of carrying on running, you decided to get into a cave or get into some sort of side street or maybe stop in your tracks and start calling out to God. So the, the idea that every single, act, every single aspect of our behavior can be explained in terms of survival and reproduction doesn't actually make sense. Yet what Darwinists try and do is they try and use this contradiction as a confirmation. So what they say is this. Our belief in God is based on a, so, a sort of social bond. We needed a collective, uh, a collective uh, fiction to help us survive and reproduce. And this collective fiction happened to be monotheism, had, or polytheism, a sort of belief in God. But the problem with this is that this is not in line with the other claim that Darwinists make, which is that religion causes bloodshed, and religion causes division, and religion causes X, Y, Z problems. So the same people who push out this narrative that natural selection can explain religion and natural selection can explain why we believe in God are the same people who say we shouldn't believe in God because it's basically against our, the survival of our species. Now the whole problem is when you have a scientific theory which can no longer be tested, where contradictions are seen as confirmations and they are just so stories and ad hoc rationalizations which are used to justify that theory, then there is no way you can empirically falsify that theory. If natural selection explains why birds fly and why birds don't fly, if natural selection explains heterosexuality and homosexuality, if it explains our belief in God and our disbelief in God, then it really explains every possible scenario, every possible situation. And if it does do this, then a theory which explains everything explains nothing. For more information about why Darwinian evolution is speculative, based on assumptions and the disputes that exist in evolutionary biology about its most fundamental, its most fundamental ideas, make sure you subscribe to Darwinian Delusions.